Like almost everyone, I had heard about the Ku Klux Klan at different times, but knew really very little about them. Then in the 1990s, when I was living in the United States, I thought I'd investigate and try to get to the bottom of this secretive and pretty much widespread hated hate group. And as a foreigner in America and someone who is partially from the East, I knew it would be even harder for me. So I started investigating and trying to get in with the KKK. And I was surprised when the Knights of the KKK, also called 4K, they, they welcomed me kind of with open arms and they invited me to their annual homecoming in Pulaski, Tennessee. In the 1800s, when the KKK was initially founded, it was founded at Pulaski. And I should say that Pulaski is a city, a small city, that absolutely hates the Ku Klux Klan. And on the days when there's a homecoming, once a year, the entire town shuts down, which is pretty much as impressive as the homecoming itself, to see a, a town shut down. So I got invited to this homecoming. And the first homecoming, I actually went to two of them. And I rolled up and I thought I'd stayed in some crummy motel. And I thought that the KKK was, at the time, I thought the KKK was this sort of mysterious, probably quite wealthy and powerful group. But I remember that a sort of olive green Chevy van rolled up just next to my rental. And it was all falling to bits and out stepped someone called Rachel Pendergraft, and she and her father, Tom Robb, were the leaders of the Klan. And the Ku Klux Klan at the time, this was a few years ago, were really trying to reinvent themselves. They were holding coffee mornings as well as cross burnings, but they were really giving out a message, trying to recruit, uh, regroup and um, recruit new people. And I had a series of extraordinary interviews, mostly with Rachel Pendergraft, who was a, a kind of um, unimpressive woman, a little bit chunky and unimpressive, and just very, very misled in my, in my humble opinion. But I tried to remain as open-minded about them as I could. And in the evening, two times running, I got invited to the cross burnings. And those were when you know, the, the, um, the cake, uh, biscuits and cakes and Ku Klux Klan Barbie dolls had all been put away. And this huge, huge cross made out of, you know, telegraph poles was set fire. And that is when everyone donned their hooded robes. It was an extraordinary thing to see and really just like out of the movies, but quite horrific in a way because it's a, an organization built around hate, which was, to me, astonishing. Anyway, I wrote about it in my book, Travels With Myself.